welcome to South by Southwest. I'm Jade Lovell. And I'm Jai Smith. And we've seen another great round of presentations. And today we wanted to talk to you about data, data visualization and user experience design. So as we know in the Asia Pacific region, some of the biggest social media users in the world. Uh, but what that means is that there's a lot of data being collected about social media, our buying behavior and our online habits. Uh, but what brands are really struggling to do is they might be great at collecting information about their consumers and their users, but terrible at actually being able to make use of that information. What we heard was that the ability to collect data doesn't make your product or your brand uh, have a higher value. What a value to products and brands is not the ability to collect data, like a lot of wearables just count how many steps we take, like a pedometer. But what, what people pay money for and what people value is the ability to collect that data and then make sense of that data and make a narrative about what we're, what the data means to us in our lives. Yeah, I think one of the great quotes we heard today is that data without interpretation, it's just quantifiable noise. Uh, and I think that really rings true when we think about uh, the scarcity of attention, which was another topic that was brought up today, you know, with wearables, with phones, with content, and just the internet in general, our attention for digital media is divided again and again and again. We heard a lot about the value of really good design to make information accessible. Um, and so what we've seen uh, in the product world is a thing called ambient information, ambient products. So the ambient product gives us small but complete pieces of information. And a really good example of this might be a red stop sign, a red stop light. It doesn't tell you all the traffic information and the data about the traffic, but it does tell you what you need to know, which is to stop. So we've seen some of these in, in some really interesting products. You know, I think that was a, a good segue for us to go into our next session, which was all about uh, NASA's ability to interpret their own visual, uh, their own data into visual information. Uh, and we heard from their designers who really look at design as a tool, not just pretty pictures. And if we think about what NASA does, it's obviously a very high level of expertise. And so they're designing for totally different reasons. Uh, I think they use the example of building the equivalent of Pinterest for scientists within the organization, which is just a really kind of casual look at the kinds of transformations that an organization like NASA is going through because of data, but at the same time because of new advances in design and UX. And what the designers for NASA found is that they kind of made the assumption that you know NASA scientists are all very intelligent and if they just make the data available, scientists will make use of it. But that's actually not true. If they make the data hard to understand by not visualizing it and just putting it all in Excel tables, uh, it wasn't being used, it wasn't being uh, accessed and put to uh, and used for future innovation. So what they did is by visualizing the data and making it accessible, that more people were using that data and then they were using it to make innovations and, and actually expand their work. So it was a win for NASA. I think one of my biggest takeaways was, it, was their best practice principles around design. You know, making things visual, of course, making them inviting, and being able to tell a story that actually helps a user make a next decision. So that's what we learned from South by Southwest Day 2. I'm Jay Lovell. Peace, guys. Smith. <laughs> See you next time.